What's up, you guys? It's Jono! Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. I have discovered a new shiny hunting method, and I am shocked that nobody is talking about this because it was so easy to do, and it's so much faster than going back and forth to Jubilee Village. I keep on hearing from people, they're shiny hunting Eevee, or they're shiny hunting one specific Pokemon, not an alpha Pokemon, not a static alpha Pokemon, not a massive mass outbreak or anything like that, just regular old wild spawns that always occur in the same place on the map, sort of like the Turtwig that spawns over here in this area, okay? In this particular spot, you will always get a Turtwig, except sometimes, like in this case, it will be a Grottle. That's the spawn that's always on the right-hand side. And then on the left-hand side, you can get Paras, Parasect, you can get Ghastly and Haunter at night. You can also get another Turtwig, so you could get two Turtwigs in this spot, or you could get a Grottle, so you get a Turtwig and a Grottle, or if you're really lucky, two Grottles, or you could even get Alpha Turtwig, Alpha Grottle. Okay, that's the only things that spawn here, so it's a really good place to demonstrate this shiny hunting method. Okay, now that you know what spawns here, let's go ahead and talk about what I'm actually going to do during this video. All I'm gonna do during this video is catch the two spawns that are by that pond, and then I'm gonna go rest, okay? You can rest to any different time of the day, but I have found that it's most beneficial if you go back and forth between daylight hours and then nighttime hours. This seems to make it work the best for the shiny hunting method. I did notice every once in a while I would go there and there would be no spawns, which is lame, okay? But that was very rare, but I noticed if I go back and forth between daylight hours and nighttime hours, there's always new spawns. Now, any good shiny Shiny Hunter knows if you want to do shiny hunting, basically getting the most spawns possible and resetting the spawns is the best thing to do. Everybody probably remembers the ladder hunting method in Pokemon Let's Go. I know some people weren't big fans of Pokemon Let's Go, but that ladder hunting method was the truth. It was a really quick way to just reset all the spawns in any given room. Some people also used the door method, which was exactly the same. It was just a quick way to get all the spawns to disappear, and then when you went back downstairs, down the ladder you would get brand new spawns and you could get really fast and easy shinies this is another way to do that aside from you do have to catch all the Pokemon so what you're gonna notice I'm doing during this video is I go to the spot where the two Pokemon spawn it's always a Turtwig except sometimes it's a Grottle and the other one is usually a Paris or a Parasect then I'm gonna catch both of those Pokemon the reason I'm catching them is because I need them to despawn so once I go and rest then I can get new spawns now, one thing I did notice with using this method is that I ran through a ton of sticky gloves and ultra balls. So I hope you know how to make a lot of money in this game and become a millionaire and you can get tons of sticky gloves and tons of ultra balls and you shouldn't have any trouble with this method. Other than that, it's super duper easy. Just go back once you catch the two Pokemon and then go rest and once you go back again, there will be new Pokemon there. Now, some people might be saying, Jono, you don't know that they're actually new Pokemon. What if you're just catching the same Pokemon over and over again? I've heard people say that so many times in Pokemon and I honestly think it's ridiculous and I'm gonna prove to you that they're definitely not the same Pokemon. Any good shiny hunter knows that that's ridiculous. That's not what actually happens. As long as the Pokemon disappear, they will be replaced with new Pokemon. And I'm gonna show you that for a fact, I was able to get Alpha Turtwig in the right hand spot, which is always a Turtwig, except sometimes it's a Grottle. I was also able to get Grottle in the right hand spot. I even got Alpha Grottle in the right hand spot. So if it was the exact same Pokemon reappearing over and over again, then you couldn't get Alpha Turtwig, you couldn't get Alpha Grottle, and you wouldn't even get Grottle in the right hand spot. It would just be the same Turtwig, right? Now, one thing you may notice I'm doing during this video is I'm allowing the Turtwig to run away. That's just a behavior that's specific to Turtwig. Not all Pokemon are going to run away, but I'm actually saving some items by doing that. I don't want to throw my Ultra Balls at Turtwig. Sometimes they do bounce out, and I don't want to use up all my Sticky Globs because they're very expensive. So are the Ultra Balls. So I'm just letting Turtwig run away. For a little while, I was like, hmm, I wonder if it is the same Turtwig. But as you can see, I got the Alpha Grottle to spawn. It's obviously not the same Turtwig. 
Now, you guys, I did this for like an hour and a half. I was like, I am gonna show the people a shiny on this video. Guaranteed, I got to get the shiny. Well, I did it pretty much all day today. I was doing this for a really long time. I couldn't get the shiny. All right, that's okay. But then I thought to myself, hey, I wonder if this actually works on Unknown. So then I decided to do a little migration over to where Unknown spawns. And sure enough, it actually does work on Unknown as well. So I may have to do a whole Unknown shiny hunting video just to make it clear that it is the best shiny hunting method for Unknown. I definitely want to show you guys this really does work. All I'm doing is going back and forth to the camp and I'm resting. Now, I'll give you a couple of details that I found out. I was doing this for about two hours and I did find some nuance. Every once in a while I would go and there would be no Pokemon. That's lame, okay? There would just be no Pokemon there. So I started resetting from morning to midday to the evening and then to the night and then back to morning and going through that cycle and every once in a while there would be no Pokemon. So then I thought to myself, well, does it still work if I just keep doing morning over and over and over again? So then I just kept doing morning over and over again. That actually worked really well, aside from sometimes there would be no Pokemon. And I was like, hmm, I don't want to show people a shiny hunting method where sometimes there's no Pokemon. So then I thought to myself, what if I go morning to night and then back to morning? I do think that this has something to do with the way that Pokemon respawn in the evening. I'm not positive about that. I actually can't figure out how this works but I do think it has something to do with the way that Pokemon respawn during different times of the day. Now I learned this recently if you're in the morning you catch a whole bunch of Pokemon and you happen to be standing around the same area and it turns to the afternoon new Pokemon will replace those Pokemon. That's a behavior that you can document you can do that yourself just go catch all the Pokemon in an area and then stand around and magically once the time changes you'll get new Pokemon all around you. All I'm doing is quickening that by going back and forth to the camp and sleeping and going to the next time. So I'm just making that time go faster and I'm getting to the next time. Now what's weird is that you could do morning and then go catch the Pokemon and then do morning again and go catch the Pokemon and then do morning again and go catch the Pokemon. But like I said, every once in a while there won't be any Pokemon there. Now something you may not know about this game is that Pokemon tend to despawn in the night to be replaced with ghost Pokemon and other nighttime Pokemon like Zubat and Galbat, right? So it's kind of exploiting the fact that the Pokemon will despawn for the nighttime and then respawn back in the morning. This is a behavior that every once in a while you'll see when you're running around the map, you'll see a whole bunch of Murkrow fly away and get replaced with Rosalia, or you might see Pokemon that just run away and get replaced with Zubats. That's a very normal behavior in the game. That's just the day night cycle taking place and it allows the ghost Pokemon to replace the regular Pokemon. Well, this is sort of taking advantage of that, but I'm not sure that it's completely relying on that because you could go from morning to afternoon to evening and you would still get more Pokemon like you see I'm doing here. However, I did this for over two hours and what I recommend is go from morning to nighttime and then back to morning, back to nighttime. I think you could do the same thing with midday, go from midday to nighttime and then back to midday and back to nighttime. I noticed when I did it that way, I did not get any of those instances where no Pokemon spawned. Pokemon were there every single time. It was the fastest shiny hunting I could possibly do. Now, unfortunately, like I said earlier, I wasn't able to get that Turtwig. I really want to get that shiny Turtwig in this spot because it's just such a cool spot where Turtwig is always guaranteed to spawn so I'm gonna keep on checking this area in the future but let's go ahead and migrate over to unknown I was able to do this with unknown and I was shocked that it actually works it was really impressive to me I basically went over and caught all the unknown and then I went back and rested till the evening and then I went back again and there was more unknown and some of them were even alpha and yes I even got a shiny unknown so I guarantee this has got to be the best shiny hunting method Obviously, it's not for massive outbreaks. It's not for mass outbreaks. It's not going to be for the static alphas. It's not going to work for those. But it's a really great way if you know where there's a particular Pokemon you're looking for, such as Eevee, for example, you can get a whole bunch more to spawn without going back and forth to Jubilife Village. And I really can't stand going back and forth to Jubilife Village. I think it takes forever. And I was like, there must be a 
a better way. And I discovered this way all by myself. Now what's crazy is I haven't seen anybody talking about this. Have you guys seen anybody talking about this shiny hunting method? I totally haven't seen it. I've never seen anybody mention this. Nobody told me about it. And I just happened to be messing around. I was actually trying to catch baby Pichu over in the obsidian field lens. And I was able to get Pichu to respawn this way. And I thought, wow, if this works for Pichu, I wonder if it works for other Pokemon. And then I kept on testing it in different areas. And it's very consistent. It works all the time. All you have to do is catch the Pokemon that are there and then go reset the time by sleeping. And then when you come back, there'll be more Pokemon in that place and there'll be brand new Pokemon and they'll have a chance to be whatever spawns in that area. So it's a really, really great way to do shiny hunting. And as far as I can tell, it's a brand new shiny hunting method. I haven't heard anybody talking about this, even though it was so easy. And of course it saves all that time of going back and forth to Jubilife Village. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Are you gonna try this shiny hunting method? Do you think it's bogus? Do you think that my video is good or do you think that it's bad? I don't care what your comment is, but please post a comment down below, share this video with a friend, and don't forget to smack that like before you go. Thanks everybody for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it very informative. Thanks again to all of my amazing subscribers and peace.